let's take a look at these setups. I sent these charts out to you yesterday, or sent them to Gerald to send out to you. Okay. We've been going over the breakout strategy, and what that is is that is when we break through an ATR level where we have a possible speed possible speed in the market that's going to take out some buy stops or take out sell stops and accelerate price to the upside or downside. So if you're looking in the room, we know that we have our zones, our trend zones. They're green or red, very simple. If they're green, we're looking to buy. If they're red, we're looking to sell. We have our momentum, I mean our uh, stronger, weaker oscillator down below to confirm if the market is weak or strong when we're breaking out of these levels. So here's a breakout level this morning. Here's a breakout level this morning. And you can see when they broke out after one, two candle, the third candle were turned yellow. And then you'll see that that is the trigger for the breakout. Consequently, you'll notice my stronger, weaker oscillator. You can use that with the arrows that fire here and also the breakout levels. If you are in a stronger position, that's the best position for a breakout, meaning you're above 100. That means you're stronger position, strong market. So we were in a strong market this morning on the breakout. We had two breakouts this morning so far. This morning on the S&P, we had one at 3.18 this morning a.m. I love that London push, especially when you guys get the strategy for NASDAQ futures. Um, if you trade the NASDAQ futures, you tend to see a violent move when the London open at 3 a.m. If not some of you guys I'll trade that time period, 3 a.m. to 4 a.m., you see a, a little violent surge, usually 3 to 3.30 on the NASDAQ futures. So, and there's our next pull-in. Uh, trigger was at, what, 5.54. It gave a yellow a breakout level. You see it broke. One candle, two candle, three. So I showed these on the S and P in the room uh, yesterday. Had some had some nice breakouts. So let's go over to yesterday's uh, trades also. So let's go over our regular setups. So we have our regular setups in the room now. We're packaging this together where you're going to get this workspace setup where you'll have the um, you'll have the oscillator below. These arrows will automatically fire. And these arrows will fire on these setups. They'll fire on the first wave, the slingshot, the momo failure, and the trap. This oscillator is really nice to confirm these arrows because the arrows, um, when they fire, you, you don't want to get caught into a um, you don't want to get caught into a weaker market if you're buying or a stronger market if you're selling. So you can tell. The strong market confirmation with the arrow firing was getting above 100 here a couple bars later at uh, 47, 60, 50, and the market just explodes to the upside. It goes up 14 and a half S&P points from that slingshot. So you can use that confirmation uh, oscillator below to see if you're in a weaker, stronger market when these arrows fire. They work really well together. Also. You see when this yellow, this fired live yesterday in the room for you, here was our breakout level. So when this yellow trigger fired here also yesterday at uh, 342, it showed that's a trigger for a breakout, possible breakout in the S&P. And then we fired from 47.66, uh, almost a 10-point run into the close. The one before that, we had a short. Now the shorts will be opposite. Short, we had a slingshot arrow that fired automatically there in the room when that bar formed, that arrow fired. If you notice, we have a weak market confirmation below when we're getting below a zero or negative 100 per se. So when it broke through here, that confirmed our weak market. And right when she broke 100, the low of this bar, 62 and a quarter, you had a potential all the way down to 46. So you had another 15, 16-point S&P potential run. 
Right after that, we had our breakdown. This happened live in the room yesterday. This was my yellow bar, yellow candle or yellow bar uh, highlight formed right below the breakout level. And this was a nice one, two candle below, 40 or 58.50 down to 46. So we had a 12 S&P point run there, also potential. So you can see what's happening is, let's take a look at both of these so you see some synergy between the two. It, what you're going to notice with these setups, and that's why we're going to we're going to we're going to package this setup together, where you get the slingshots and all these arrows firing with our momentum indicator below, also with the zone breakout on the same chart because they they really have good synergy together. When the arrow fires here at this level, your breakout level comes next. So when you get a slingshot full retracement, it gets into a weak market, and then we have the breakout level that fires. If you noticed on that was a sell, if you notice on the buy, it's just the opposite. We had a slingshot that fired, deep retracement, then the breakout, then a continuation, and there's your stronger market. So you can see when these fire off, um, you'll get some will be more robust robust moves than others. This one started out the day at 930, um, 64 and a half potential down to what 58, 57 three quarters, 58. So still a six seven point potential, and this one fired 60 potential down to what 58. So that's a two-point potential on this one. What you're going to recognize is this, is you're going to recognize when I love watching these yellow highlighted bar breakouts happen when you're cutting through market profile. And it's happened all week this week. You saw it last week on these breakout levels. When you get through this high value or low value area, this has worked since 1985. These are all the participants in the market, all of them. All the hedge funds, all the prop firms, all the high frequency traders, professional, amateur traders, everybody. If you notice that your breakout level is here, over top of HVA or over top of LVA, I went over this in the room last week when there's a couple trades that's happening live. If you notice that you are on top of HVA LVA and you're sitting with a breakout level that hasn't broke out yet, you're sitting it at here, right? You're sitting at this level or you're sitting at another level. Yesterday, it was sitting right at LVA. I mean, it was resting right on it. When that breaks out, you got a high probability extension that's coming. And you typically see a violent move to the upside. Because what happens is, is you get these, um, all these sell orders are up here, or all these shorts are up at high value area. Because what's market profile supposed to do? Market profile is supposed to be an orderly market. It contains an orderly market. The market can't go vertical every day. It can't go sideways every day. The job of market profile is to create an orderly market. So what it shows is that orderly market. It shows that if once we get, if we're inside of it, the market is called balanced. So we're in a balanced market. So that's a balanced market. You have resting short uh, sells up here, resting buys down here. It should bounce in between profile. That That's a normal balanced market. What happens though is the market becomes imbalanced. And when you get an imbalance, this is why I put the breakout trade in the room. What I recognized was that once you violate some ATR levels in an imbalanced market, the market does what? It likes to go vertical because now we become into a imbalanced market. So you come from a balanced market where the market is in between high value, which is called HVA, the red line that automatically is the distribution here. And here's the accumulation, the LVA, low value area. So this is normal distribution accumulation, right, in between profile. So this is called a balanced market. When you get outside of a balanced market, and this has worked, like I said, since 1985, and volume profile since 1994, once you get outside of value, what happens is, is you get all these resting orders here that have to 
cover their positions. So if you're shorting here, these buy stops is like a self-generating trade. You'll see these markets gener uh, move up to this price profile, typically of 95 and a half. So you can see this violent break to the upside. The same thing with the downside. And when you break through low value, here's where our resting breakdown level was. Now let's just take a look at this. Look at the synergy you have between profile, my breakout breakdown levels. So right there was your market profile, right? At uh, right around, right before two o'clock. If you look at two o'clock, it's resting right on it. Right into two o'clock, the market profile, and you see, uh, right. I'm sorry, right before two o'clock, you see the move. Uh, this is right on LVI. If you're in the room yesterday when I was in the room, when I was talking, you can see I'm not talking, but in the room chatting, this is right on low value area, and it broke and got a lot of sell stops that we're hitting. So it's like it's it's a self-generating trade. You're here when you get above market profile. Look at the energy you get in the market when you get through my breakout levels. Lots of energy in the market. So this is how we're going to pack, package it together on your own workspaces. Um, these yellow highlighted, we're going to show you, these will be set up for you, these highlighted breakout levels. There's a couple things I added to this, okay? And I'll show you the strategy that goes with this. One thing I added is I've given you an option of how many closes you want above the breakout. Obviously, we're in a breakout run right now in the S&P. The breakout run happened at 4778. It is running. Why? It's just there's no resistance until we get to price profile up here. That even cut through it at what 95 and a half. Why? Because these are all buy stops that are hitting from the resting sell orders in a normal accumulation distribution market. Once you get outside of the HVA, you see that whole body candle close. But I like two candles once they close out. You can see that you get a nice surge in the market. So that's what we're getting right now. We're getting a breakout surge. What I added for you guys in the strategy, which I'll show you in a second, is I added the number of closes above the breakout. There's two things I, I added to the strategy. One, the one thing with the breakout levels in the room is that I put it as a on the third candle because I don't want to get caught with an M top or W bottom. In other words, you want to get through this high. If it comes through, you want to break through this high, right? You want to cut through that high right there. So what I did on the strategy is right when these ATR starts forming, it's going to bump that breakup level to that swing high. That's one that I've done. The second thing I've done, I added to the strategy, is that I added the number of closes you can have. Some of you will want to get early on the breakout. You'll want to get a one candle breakout, some of your two candle, some a three candle, some a four candle later to get strong momentum. Because usually if it hits four candles later or three, that's typically when these sell stops or buy stops are cranking. And, you know, we want to get those first, second targets off. <clears throat> so you have a choice of putting a one, two, three candle, totally up to you um, on whatever market you trade. If you want to just, a, I have it in the room for for getting uh, this yellow forms on a three close above the breakout level. Uh, you guys can do what you want on your own strategy, but that is an option you guys can have. Um, you can see it goes one, two, third turns yellow. Yesterday, one, two, third turns yellow. But if you wanted it to be one, it's going to save you about three ticks, sometimes four ticks a point. But what you're risking is, is you're risking, you're getting, you may have an M top or W bottom on that swing low. So if you just want to clear that swing low, you can just adjust your entry accordingly. All right. So you won't have to be involved with M tops and W bottoms because what happens with M tops and W bottoms is that they'll just take out the low on a W and then they shoot up, all right, or what have you. So you can adjust what you want to do. If you want to jump in early, and say, okay, I'll, I'll take that chance of, of M and W coming by getting me in a point earlier to get my first targets off. You can do that also. So that's totally your option of doing that.
All right, so that's something that um, that you'll do. Now the next breakout level will be here. So let's take a look at this live right now. Oops. It's a neat little breakout level. Why? Because it's right on price profile. Price profile is sort of sitting right up here also right now, right? Right there's price profile. Sitting right at what? 95 and a half. And so we know if we clear this breakout level, so if it closes two candles above this breakout level that just formed, see these horizontal equal dots? If it closes above there, it's going to turn yellow by two candle closes. So that is another setup that's possibly coming for a range breakout. You may see one that pop fires right there and fires in the trade. Let's take a look at that. Let's take a look at the strategy that you guys are getting with the overall um, the strategy that goes with the room chart. So the room charts are going to be packaged like together. I just showed you. So the strategy uh, you can see that now you can have different targets on it. I have six targets in there. You can make one target if you want, uh, one contract, two contract, three con whatever contracts you guys want. Uh, this is a one. 2020 on the S&P. Uh, this is the breakout level this morning. We had two breakout levels this morning, right? It's not going to get you in a, a two back-to-back -back trades if you're already long. Here's our first breakout level that turned yellow. This is our next one, but it's already long, so it's not going to get you long twice. So those are two breakout levels here this morning. So the strategy is essentially going to do the same thing as the indicator in the room, uh, but you can have that automated on taking breakouts. So yesterday, uh, that was at the close. You can see that was my yellow candle. Um, the strategy will turn yellow right there um, for you. Uh, the breakdown yesterday was right here. Uh, two candle close below, turned yellow. And then we had the breakdown yesterday also. And, uh, starting the day off, uh, there's your two candle and there's your targets there also. So you can see you can dictate how many closes you want below this breakdown level, but the strategy is doing exactly what the room charts are doing, only it's automated for you. Okay? So that is so this is one part of the strategy that you can do. That that's called the the, the zone breakout strategy. So what it'll do is a strategy, I'm sorry, let's put it next to it. So if I put this up next to what the room charts are showing, it's showing 97 is my breakout level that will turn a yellow candle, right? Well, over here, my strategy is showing 97 also. So you can see they are right in line with each other on projecting the, the breakouts, the strategy, and also the, the room charts, okay? What, I, what I've done is I just have the strategy running in the background with price targets off, I mean hidden. So you see a yellow bar. In other words, if you look right here on this breakout, you see this yellow bar that formed this morning right there at 318. It's the same thing. This is a 120-20 chart here also. What I've done is at 318, right there's your yellow candle that formed. I just hid the price fills. Do not plot. You go down, do not plot executions, and that will be in the background running for you um, to show you where these triggers are on the strategy. Okay? So that's what uh, you're going to be doing also. Now, you can also trade these. We do have a strategy against these arrows. You can trade these arrows. If you just wanted the slingshot as a strategy, so this is our, another strategy you guys are going to be getting. So we have the breakout strategy, and then we have the wave strategies, uh, slingshot, failure, trap, Momo. So let's say you just want to check the trap trade. Trap trade would be here. It would enter short there. A trap trade is a slingshot into a failure. When, when you see, because guess what happens here? Look what happens. You get an arrow that fires a slingshot, but does it get above 100 for a strong market? No. So guess what they're doing? They're trapping traders. They're trapping the uh, novice traders to thinking that the market is going to accelerate. But our strength oscillator down here tells us it is not strengthening or it would be going above 100, right? Because on strong markets, we know it will go above, what, where is it at? 
right here with strong markets it will get above 100 and I'll start cranking to the upside right so with with trap trades there's your slingshot but does not get above 100 so right when that arrow comes in if you see back back arrows come out like this it's a really high probability trade because you're trapping all these longs and accelerates to the downside this started the move down by the way this trap trade started that slingshot started the started the breakdown this is the first phase of a trend change if I see a trap trade immediately I think slingshot first uh, breakdown second immediately that's my immediate combo I'm looking for I'm looking for a trap looking for a slingshot I'm looking for a breakdown right but look at the oscillator it does not get above a hundred but there when the arrow fires indicating a trap that traders have got trapped look at the oscillator get below the zero or a negative 100 there that told me right there at that arrow this market is a setup for a major move to the downside and that's what we had it goes into it you get a trend change you get a slingshot arrow fires and we go right into a zone short on a breakdown so that's the rhythm of the market I mean that's pretty much the rhythm of it um, here the same way you get a trend change slingshot there's your breakout all right so now this morning what we'll do we've had two breakouts here already this morning you can see it on the strategy the same way there's your breakout level here's my next breakout level 4797 so this is the next breakout level we're going to look for for the S&P uh, to fire in for the next breakout level we may have a slingshot coming up that gives us confirmation of a stronger market above 100